Hello everyone. In this 1.20.1 Forge mod pack development video, we're going to be going over basic um, item modification using the Cube.js mod. But before we get started, I would like to give a shout out to my server hosting partner, Bisect Hosting. This is a great service that I've used for quite a while now. Um, they provide server hosting for over 70 games. So there's many here um, besides Minecraft that you can use. Um, you can also pre-install uh, a significant amount of Minecraft mod packs automatically. Basically any notable mod pack uh, that you might have played, like all the mods, better Minecraft, um, you can use and just pre-install automatically. The customer support is really great. It's 24-7, 365. I can especially test this because I run personal servers for my friends using this service, and whenever I need help, they are always very friendly and helpful and prompt. You have full file access, so you can drag whatever um, you can drag whatever plugins, files, mods. Um, full, you have full access to that. You can host your, and you can also host your server over twenty secure locations. So, if you're interested. Please check out my affiliate link. It'll take you to this website. And there's lots of great information that will help uh, inform a purchase. So again, thank you for uh, Bisect Hosting for supporting me. But now let's uh, get started with the video. Um, we're going to go over item vents dot modification. So this changes the properties of, the, is of existing items. We're not adding any items using this uh, startup script. As you can see here, it's in, it's in the startup scripts folder. Um, each uh, each each uh, modification is done by event.modify, and then you pass in the item, and then you can uh, you can put in you can edit a variety of attributes for these five examples. These are the five basic examples that are going to be covered in this video. I'm doing one example per. So starting off here, we have item dot max stack size. That's an integer. Um, it's what you. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's the maximum stack size for a particular item. So here I'm changing uh, the stack size for Ender Pearls from 16 to 64. Um, next uh, item dot max damage. That's set to an integer. It's maximum damage an item can take. So for this example, I set a wooden sword to be a lot more durable, to go up from its base amount all the way up to 500 using this event. Um, next is item.fire resistant. This, set, this is a Boolean. It's, again, self-explanatory. It's whether or not an item is fire resistant. So um, an example of fire resistant item is uh, netherite or ancient debris that won't burn in lava or fire. So for this example, I'm setting an iron ingot to be fire resistant as well. Um, next is item dot rarity. This is a string. It's the rarity of an item that you'll see on while hovering over the item in game. So most items are common, which has like the white and gray um, text. Then uh, nether star is a common item. That's I'm sorry, uncommon item. So that's like yellow. Uh, golden apples are rare. Uh, that's the like the cyan or blue. And then enchanted golden apples are epic or the purple. So here for this example, I'm saying golden apple to be epic instead of rare. Last in this video, uh, crafting remainder. So uh, I found in practice that this is the best way to do it, um, how it's listed here, but it's a remainder for craft. And an example, you can think of uh, a lot of bucket crafts, right? Or um, bottles of honey or things like that. So for this example, um, I'm just saying a glass bottle to have a crafting remainder of itself. But again, you can expand this with a lot of situations. So I hope this video was informative. Um, again, thank you for Bisect Hosting for supporting this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.